previously on Lion Moms. I think the counselling is good for both the children. Don't you think so? It's hard navigating friendships and work, even in the best of times. Besides, maybe it's a good thing. You can pause, reflect a little, and maybe find a job that really interests you. Neil, we're sorry about what happened. Can we talk you through? There's nothing to talk about. I became a liability to the company, and it became too much trouble to keep me. You don't have to say it like oh, that. I'm sorry. Is there something you'd like to correct me on? Maybe the part where you stood up for your friend to your snooty clients. Or the part where you didn't give me crap legal advice that landed me in prison in the first hey. place. I worked my butt off on your case. I tried my very best. Oh, really? Because your best put me in jail. The war continues to rage on between the states of Duranistan in the north and Minneapolis in the south. Hostilities have risen to an all-time high, and the number of casualties is steadily rising. We now head over to Duranistan to speak with our correspondent there, Reza. As you can see, the tension in the region is palpable. Most regrettable is the number of civilian casualties in this conflict. Mummy, do you think I can ask Auntie Mini? I do not want to hear you mention that name in this house. Do you understand? But all I wanted is to ask Auntie Mini. Stop! One more time you mention that name, no more Wi-Fi for you. You go up to your room now. The suffering is real. All we can do is just hope that the battle will be over soon. Reza, who are you talking to? These are sad times indeed. And this just in, the latest update from our man Marcus in Minneapolis, where the situation appears to be largely under control. Good morning, Ben Hien. Yes, anyone following the situation here at Minneapolis would assume that the worst is over and that peace has finally returned to the region. But on closer scrutiny, the latest intel in black and white. One, update resume. Two, resume job search. Three, kick Durani's dumbass. No, no, please! No! Okay, I hope you guys are ready for class today because we are having a surprise quiz. Where's Ruby? I don't know, but I heard something happened with her and Ryan the other day at the library. Huh? What? I don't know, but Yin Yi saw her run out. She was crying hard. Abila? Abila? Abila, is everything okay? I've been calling you. I'm sorry. That's okay. Everyone's sleeping in the first class of the day. Take a look at the quiz and I'll come back to you. Okay? There's nothing wrong with the aircon. No problem. Are you sure? Then why is it so hot? Can you check again? <sighs> wait, wait. What do you mean you're not going to do anything? I'm not getting involved. Your two best friends are fighting and you're staying out of it? Yes. Don't you care? Of course I care. I also care about the disappearing of the emperor penguins and extinction of the Sumatran rhinos. But I can't really do anything about it, can I? Actually, you can. It's between Durani and Mini. I'm staying out of the fight. And if you're smart enough, you should tell Reza and Marcus to stay out of it as well. <sighs> There's really nothing wrong with your aircon, Nadi. 
You call me an auntie? Am I that old to be called an auntie? Why are you so rude? Can't you call me a miss? You still have to pay. Of course I will pay you! Oh my goodness, you're so rude! You asked me to pay you immediately, but you call me an auntie. I'm so offended. You don't even apologize. You asked me to pay you. Oh! Marcus, you have to move to plan B. Okay, class, please submit your quiz papers. Once you're done, you can proceed on to your next class. Thank you. Uh, Nabila, I need you to stay back after class for a while. I need to talk to you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, you're not in any trouble. I just want to ask if everything's okay. I'm fine. You've been acting pretty strangely lately. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? No. I mean, yes, I'm sure. Look, I know that P6 is a difficult time. It's stressful and it's changing as a person as well. But I just want to tell you that you can talk to us. As your teacher... Stop! Stay away from me! So, Chase, do not do anything. Yeah, um, okay, I will do my best. Mm, bye. Were you just talking about Chase? Thanks. Um, I was saying, Che, so sad. What happened? Can you do me a favor? Sure. One of my patients got into a car accident and she needs some legal advice. Can you help me ask do if she... I'm going to do you a favor and pretend you didn't just say that. <sighs> Min, come on, the two of you are such good friends. Good friends? Okay, your good friend is that Dr. Gang, right? You guys share the clinic? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's say one day this completely unreasonable patient comes in. Yes, he's a hypochondriac and he comes in all the time and he's responsible for about 15% of your income. I don't think that's... One day, Heiko comes in. Wait, who's Heiko? Keep up. Heiko, the hypochondriac. Now, one day, Hyde comes in and says, Doc, I don't like Dr. Gan. Get rid of him, or I'm taking my imaginary ailments somewhere else. Now, what would you do? Would you get rid of Dr. Gan? The man who has seen you through some of the most difficult times of your life, the friend who was there with you when you gave birth. I've never given birth. So Focus! What would you do? Would you get rid of Dr. Gan? I would suggest that Heikel get psychiatric treatment for his hypochondria. Fine. Bad example. Just don't mention her name again. Got it? Minnie is still so angry. Okay, okay. Plan C. I'll see if I can talk to Durani about this. But I'm telling you, she's just as stubborn. In fact, she's worse than the... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll come over later. Uh, because we need to talk. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Hi, sayang, good morning. What's stubborn? Uh, it's the onde onde. You know, it's very delicious, but... When you eat it, it goes straight to your hips. And the fats, they're very stubborn. I heard you. You were talking about me, right? Sayang, how long are you going to stay angry? Angry? I'm not angry. It's not about me. But you and Min Yi... Min Yi has to decide. She needs to stop being so overly sensitive. Oversensitive? Precisely! Fine, okay, we all feel sorry for her because she had to do time. But what am I supposed to do? Lose one of my biggest clients? But she only just came out. How so... long do we have to tiptoe around her, Sayang? You mean what? Even when we're 80 years old, we have to give in to her, is it? Oh, oh, eat. Oh, there, take my hearing aid, you poor thing, you had to do time. Oh, oh, Minnie, come, take the onde onde, poor thing, you went to jail, huh? No, enough is enough. Hello? Charleston. 
I think that's it. I'll see you out, Mr. Ting. I'll explain the sensitivity of the situation the next time. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ting. I'm sorry, Miss Chang. You're not in trouble, Nabila. And Mr. Ting is not angry. We're just concerned about you. What's happening? I don't know. Mr. Ting asked if he should teach another class for the time being. He doesn't want you to be uncomfortable. If there's something that he did, you could... No, it's not his fault. I just got scared and... I don't know how to make it stop. Mommy! Sam! I'm not recommending any disciplinary action, but something is going on. I think... You're going to recommend counselling again, right? But she's already gone through therapy. Sometimes things take a while to surface. And it's best to deal with them sooner rather than later. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Miss Chang. We will definitely look into this. Come, let's go. Thank you, Miss Chang. Boys are activating Plan D. I already told you, don't be a capo. You give us no choice. We already tried talking to these two women, but if they don't want to listen to us, we are going to use something that is irresistible to all women. We are going to lure them in with... Don't do anything. Children! Durani and Minnie may be angry with each other, but they're not going to make the children suffer, right? Don't do it. We'll just gather them all together here, and then while the children are playing, we will resolve the problem. Bad idea. Think about it. With the children here, they're not going to set a bad example and shout at each other. Everything will be back to normal by the end of the day. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> need to ask her. What time is the play date? Um, soon. Sayang, we need to ask you something first. What is it? About therapy. Again, I said I don't want to go. But why? I don't need to. I can cope. If I can't, I promise I'll tell you. Sayang, the therapy will help you cope if suddenly you feel scared again. I don't need to, Daddy. <laughs> I think it goes like that, like that. Yeah. I'm not hungry. Sit down, both of you. We're all still good friends here. We can't stay angry with each other. That's right. Yeah, agree. You can come back to work when you want. I accept your apology. Why should I apologize? You're oversensitive. Me? I'm oversensitive too. My friends have said some hurtful things about me, but I've learned to let it go. That's right. Last week, it hurt when Marcus said that I'm getting doughy, but I let it go. You told him? It's supposed to be me and you. No, I only told Reza because Reza said that you Don't were... Don't say it. 
Oh, Rizal, what do you say about me? No, no, uh, Rizal. Guys, 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 this is not about us. This is about... Where did they go? One went to the kitchen, the other to the kids. I told you plan D wouldn't work. Do you have a plan E? See, they've already turned us against ourselves. If we don't stop this, we're all going to be dragged into this. Us, the kids, even... I'm not going to be dragged into this. I've got a strategy. What strategy? You have to tell us, please. When dealing with angry women, you have to do two things. So... Hey guys, come on, we gotta go! So, what did you reply? You agreed with her? <clears throat> Panda? What is that supposed to mean? Exactly. Panda, chicken, butterfly, snail, rainbow, flower. The harder it is to read the meaning of the emoji, the better. Oh, I was wondering what all these nonsense emojis were for. So, what's the second thing? Hey, Min. Hey, thanks for inviting us, Che. Look at her. She's so irritating. I can't believe I have to look at that smug face all afternoon. She's so self-righteous, isn't she? Go, 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 go. Yeah, I know, right? Huh? Are you sure? If I say or do something that makes either one of them think that I'm not on their side, it's going to make things worse, right? So you just make meaningless sounds? <laughs> and you send meaningless emojis? Mm -hmm. Just let them decide what I'm thinking. I'm not getting involved in the fight. Okay. So, between us, who do you think is right? Ush. What does that mean? Anything you want. She's good. Whoosh. Why aren't you working with Auntie Duwani and Auntie Chilean anymore? Did your grandmother ask you to ask me? No. How come? It just wasn't the kind of work I wanted to do. Well, if you didn't like it, then why'd you do it? Well, I had to show that I had a job lined up so I could secure early release. But now, I get to choose something I like. Like what? Something that involves strategic thinking, growing a company, that sort of thing. Something like what this company is looking for. Speedlight IT solutions. Apply for it. You never heard of them, though. Isn't that Uncle Suresh? Are you going to join him? <laughs> Are you going to apply for it? Let's see what else is out there.
Excuse me. Yes? Hi. Do you realise this is a handicapped lot? Yeah, I know. You know and yet you're parking here? Auntie, I'm late for my appointment. Can't talk to you. It's not easy to find a job these days, isn't it? I'm sure I can find something. If I were you, I would just go back and work with Durani. Well, you're not me. Will other employers be so understanding? Exactly. I mean, it's hard enough for other people to find jobs these days. But in your case, because I have a record, I'm just saying that it won't be easy. I still have skills. Just because I did time doesn't mean I suddenly can't work. I did really, really good work before I went in and I'm just as capable of doing it now. See? That's a problem. You don't have to shout at me. Such a bad temper. I say one thing and you get so angry. <sighs> Maddie, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to... If you don't do anything, he's going to keep hurting women. But it's so difficult with no proof. It's just you and me. There were other women. I think he did it to Violet too. Violet? She worked for KP Home for a long time. I took over from her. She might know something. What are you doing? Hi, Violet. Can we meet? I want to introduce you to someone. Are you looking for jobs or clothes? I need clothes for my interviews. Oh, you already have interviews? Not bad. Doing what? Which company? A few places. You haven't applied for anything yet, right? <laughs> How am I supposed to get anything done when you're always disturbing me? It's impossible to get anything done in this house. My fault again. <sighs> the kids are so adorable. They are a handful. But luckily, John helps out when he can. Joy. He's on so many projects with KP. I must thank him for giving John a lick up. KP has been so kind and... What is it? Is there something wrong? Maddie, I... He raped me, Violet. How can you say that, Mandy? He's a good man. He wouldn't hurt you. Violet! He raped Grace too. I was a teenager when I met Kate. Whatever the two of you are up to, I'm not going to be part of it. You two better be careful. If KP hears about this, he'll sue for defamation. Violet. That's the reaction we're going to get. No one will believe us over KP. We have to keep trying. Will you please stop hanging over my... Sorry. Sorry. I thought you were my mom. She's been harassing me the whole day about finding a job. I know. She called me and told me that uh, you couldn't concentrate at home. So, use my place. You have the keys anyway. And no one's going to disturb you there, especially your mom. So I can go in any time? Yeah, the place is yours. Although it might be a little messy. Auntie May just retired. Who's Auntie May? My part-time housekeeper. She decided to go back to JB to take care of her grandson. Come on, let's go. I'll give you a ride on the way to work. Hmm?
Min! Oh, hey! Hey. <laughs> what do you think? I thought you were trying to find a new job, not take over Auntie May's job. You're welcome. Sorry, I... Um, thank you. See how easy it is to apologize? What are you getting at? Maybe the whole reason why you are finding it hard to find a new job is because you actually just want to go back and work with Durani. Oh. All you have to do is apologize and... Uh, apologize? <laughs> you can't seriously think that she's right and I'm wrong. Wait a minute. Is that what you're saying? You're saying that she's right and I'm wrong? Wait, seriously? Na na na. That's better. Hey, check out my new online campaign. Another one. This woman drove straight into a handicapped lot and walked off. I can't allow that to happen. And so this new online petition is to stop the lack of civic-mindedness. Yeah, but maybe... Maybe? What maybe? There's absolutely no reason why an able-bodied person should be allowed to park in a handicapped lot. See? You never listen to anyone. That's why Minnie doesn't want to work for you. You always have to be right. I always have to be right? Wait, you don't think that I'm right? Psst, psst. Uh, what, sayang? I, I can't hear you. Uh, it's breaking up. Riza Ali, don't you dare hang up on me. Hello? Hello? Mom. Min. I got this for you. For your interview. What? Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. And I know you're worried about me, but I'll find another job soon. I just don't have interviews lined up yet, but I Look, will. Just put this on. You have an interview right now. An interview? With who? What's going on? Thank you for applying to Kai Industries. Please have a seat. You heard what Mr. Kai said. Sit down. I'm Kai, the CEO of Kai Industries, and I'm looking for someone to head the strategic planning department. <laughs> You're interviewing me? Grandma, she's not getting it. Yes, he's interviewing you. Why? Because he wants to help you. We all do. Look, you're trying to hide it, but you're nervous about going out there again. You think we don't know? So we thought, if we help you with the mock interview, you'll have practice and you won't be so afraid. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Kai. Thank you for making the time to see me. You got the job! You're supposed to ask me how I can contribute to the company. Oh. Please tell us how you can contribute to Kai Industries. Of course. My previous experience has been in growth development. Never how to move on, how to forget. Why do I need to seek the monsters underneath my bed? Creepy, crawly creatures pulling me into their web. I'm 
sorry, but... I just don't think you fit in with our company's culture. I don't think we have anything suitable for you. You understand. You an ex-convict? Did you kill someone? Ruby... What do you want? A... What happened in the library the other day was not my fault. I just wanted to tell you that I... Ryan! We have to go. Can I talk to you another day? Why are you talking to her? She's my friend. I really like her. Please stay away from her. But Mom... It's for your own good. Hmm? Oh, wow. Your resume is dazzling. Thank you. To be honest, this job is yours if you want it. It is. You don't want it? I... Um... Maybe you could tell me a bit more about the company? Mm. I'm just starting up. When I was on a holiday in France, I had this brainwave. I knew I wanted to start an enterprise like this. So I told Daddy. And he was like, How much you need? <laughs> just like that. Have you had any other offers? Not yet. Mm. Thought so. You know, when I saw your resume, I was telling Daddy, I like what I see, but given her record and everything, then Daddy said, everyone needs to be given a chance, Meg. I was like, yes. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, think about it, yeah? I would really like to have you on board. Ruby. Daddy. Finally, Daddy today got time to pick you up. I'm like carrying back for you. Hey, you see your uniform? So messy, really. Mm. What's for lunch? Lunch? You go to a new hawker center for chicken rice. Hey, it's me. Dave owns Dash Delivery, right? She's 12 years old, like me, and she runs her own company. Your mother's exaggerating. She can't be 12. But she looks 12. And her daddy gave her the money to start the company. So what? It's not your money. Why are you getting so upset? I can't believe it's the only offer I got. But it's exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah, but I can't imagine working under her. I mean, she probably doesn't know anything. She's just rich, so she can afford to run her own startup and her own business. Maybe you should give her a chance, like how she's giving you a chance. Yes. Either that or you go to Durani and apologize to her and get your old job back. Violet, what are you doing here? I can't face Maddie. Please tell her I'm sorry. Please tell her I'm so sorry. So good to see the two of you talking again. Resolve everything? Almost. Right, me? Right? Why almost? The ball's in your court. Me? Whoever you think is wrong is wrong and will apologize to the other. Why me? Why am I dragged into this? Whoosh. Maybe an emoji can explain it better. Chicken? Yeah, don't be a chicken. Oh, those idiots. Make a choice, Che. We expect an answer. You mean... Whose side are you on? Hmm? Oh. Oh, oh! I'm so sorry! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Huh. Sorry. Do. Do! Yeah, so, woo! Didn't really 
work. And I got a from her. Miss Alska? You! You got me into this, and now you got to help me get out of it. Durani and Minnie want me to decide who is right and who is wrong. I didn't say anything, it was one of them. Uh, it wasn't me, I swear. Don't even look at me. Oh, okay, since nobody wants to admit anything, there's only one thing left to do. Arm wrestle. Best of three, come. Huh? The loser has to apologise and buy kopi and do 10 push-ups. Honestly, bro, we need it getting a bit doughy. Doughy? Doughy! Come on, let's, let's do this! Go. This is not going to solve it! Actually, it might be the perfect way to solve it. I'll get them to fight it out. He told me I deserve all the things he did to me. He told me it was my fault that he couldn't control himself. I recommended Mandy for the job. I didn't think that he's going to hurt her. I swear. It's not your fault, Violet. I should have checked on her. I was so scared. I wanted to forget everything he did to me. Then you have to help us to stand up against him. I, I can't. I have a family. I don't want them to find out. And my husband relies on KP for contracts. But Violet... I'm sorry, but I can't. Please tell Maddie that I'm sorry and don't call me again. Wow. So much hard work. I hope she understands it. Hey, sweetie. I just received your email. Oh, uh, do you need me to explain it? Um, I could put it in charts, uh, diagrams, make it easier to understand. Oh, nice. I like charts. But it's okay. Prior to your suggestion, I did some preliminary calculations myself. And based on our core competencies, I think you need to relook the following areas for a buy-in. Especially if you're going in for a B2B or a B2BC. And then there's the scalability and value propositions. Did I say something wrong? Do you need a chart? No. I'm just... dazzled. <laughs> I grew up playing Lego underneath Daddy's barroom table. For most kids, their first words were Mama or Dada. Mine was net profit. Mr. Lim, why are you taking Ruby out of Charleston? It's better for her to start somewhere else. But she's getting better and she's opening up. You can't uproot her in the middle of PSLE year. I've made up my mind. Is someone forcing you? Nobody. I think this is the best for Ruby. leaving. Please, Pa. I don't want to leave Charleston. Please. Mr. Lin, I know this is hard. But if you think about it, this is better for both Ruby and Ryan. Why do I have to leave? I didn't do anything wrong. Why am I being punished? No, Ruby. You're not being punished. Actually, 
We should be thankful to Mrs. Ho. I don't want to leave my friends. You can always make new friends. It is a very good school, Ruby. And you don't have to worry about your PSLE. In fact, you don't have to worry about anything at all. Your school fees will be paid in full. I promise I won't talk to Ryan. I'll stay away from him. Please, Pa, don't make me go to a new school. Please don't make me. Please, Pa, please. Maybe I should talk to Miss Chang. Mr. Lin, this is where I would disagree with Miss Chang. Now, she means well. But you yourself know what it's like out there in the real world. And it would be so much easier for Ruby in the future if she didn't have this incident on her record. Don't you agree? Trust me. This is the best thing for the kids. For both of them. What did you do, Mom? Ryan, I did what had to be done. You are Ryan Ho. You have everything ahead of you in life and people are waiting to snatch it away. It's for your own good. i 